Hi, I'm Dan from OMI and this video is to introduce you to the OMI wall charger and to take you through the installation and setup. So the OMI charger is an OLEV approved smart charger, it charges at 7 kilowatts or 32 amps, it uh, has a 5 meter lead length. Inside we have the Type A RCD and also the 6 milliamp DC detection and it's available in both Type 1 and Type 2 connectors. For installation, all the OMI chargers come with a flying lead on the input. So this needs to be terminated into a junction box or isolation switch locally. So the length of the input lead is one meter. The connections to the unit are simply live earth and neutral. But bear in mind, as per the wiring regulations, is the earth does need to be a TT, which usually means installing an earth rod. The unit has a 3G, 4G mobile phone chip inside it. So it's pre-configured to talk to the OMI server. So simply power it up and it will automatically connect to our servers. The unit itself, in terms of weather resistance, is IP55, so it can withstand the good old British weather. When you first power up the OMI unit, it will behave as a dumb charger. So if customers don't want to use the smart features initially, they don't have to, they don't have to have the app. They're effectively, as if when you first power up the OMI unit, you plug in a vehicle and it'll just charge the car straight away. So to get the app, the customer downloads the OMI app from either the Apple or the Google Play Store. They set an account up with us using either their email or their Google or their, their Facebook account. And then from there, we go through the setup process. So the first thing they need to do is they scan the QR code on the side of the unit and that links, that pairs the, that charging unit specifically with, with, that, with that app. From there, they then tell us what car they drive. So we have a database of all the electric vehicles that are available in the UK. They tell us what car they drive, and that's so that we know the maximum charging rate of that vehicle and also the battery size. From there is they select their energy tariff. Uh, so they tell us what energy supply they're on, what tariff they're on, so we know how much they're paying for energy, and that's so that we can provide them with information on cost of charging and also how much they're saving using the Omni service. So the main way that you use OMI is by setting up um, charge schedules. So an example of a charge schedule would be is on weekdays I want my car to be fully charged by 7 o'clock in the morning. So then for example if you plug it in on a Wednesday tea time is we know that that vehicle needs to be charged at 7 o'clock on a Thursday morning. So we know how long we've got in order to complete that charge that you need. And then we can schedule that charging in order to sort of lower the costs and lower the carbon intensity of that, of that charge by looking at the energy system and understanding what it's doing. So the charge schedules are great but we have to understand that people's plans sort of change really. So what we also have is a max charge session so that again using that example if you plug in your vehicle on a Wednesday evening but actually you just want a quick top up then you can just go into the app, select max charge and then the vehicle will just charge as, as, as quickly as possible. 